Hey, hey, Sharita Deloach here, your digital publishing bestie. And today's video, I want to talk to my women that are 40 plus. Talk about YouTube, how you can thrive on YouTube and giving you some steps, some strategies to help you to do that here on YouTube. Now, I know there is a wide variety of videos of content creators talking to women who are 40 plus. And I'm going to talk from my experience as a 40 plus plus woman who has been on YouTube since last year. So I've been on YouTube for about a year now. And I just I want to share some ways that I have been able to make money on YouTube and why women that are 40 plus should have a different approach to YouTube than what's being taught out here. Okay. So as you see, I have a YouTube video. I am a digital publisher. That's a part of my business. When I approach YouTube, my goal for YouTube to be on honest was to use YouTube as a traffic source to my business. Okay. So that's why I came up here, but looking at some of the videos that I'm looking at, a lot of women that are my age that are coming on YouTube are taking the approach of maybe posting like lifestyle content and those type of things, which is nothing wrong with that. But I want to challenge you to have a different approach, to have a shift of your mindset, to not only just want to, you know, create the content to get the AdSense. Uh, and I'm going to be honest at the time of this, recorded i'm not even monetized just yet but i have been able to make thousands of dollars from a youtube without being monetized. So I'm going to share a little bit about that. Well, YouTube, YouTube is a very powerful platform. What I do love about YouTube as a business owner in general is that YouTube is a place where you can come here. You can give value because I love to teach. So that's one thing that you're going to know about me. I love to teach. I love to share my knowledge. I love to share my expertise and I love to turn that into money, honey. Okay. So YouTube is a very much powerful platform for you to do that because you don't have to really worry about the family and friends supporting you. You can definitely come on YouTube and use this as a platform for you to share your knowledge and expertise to people and people can actually click the subscribe button and the subscribe button for me says you actually like my content and you really want to get more of my content. Now, when they hit that notification, bell that lets me know too they're like i'm i'm in this with you because i want to get a notification every time you upload a video because your content is really really good um, so in the watch hours you know of course because we all want to be monetized i'm almost there but you do want people to watch your videos all the way through okay so let me talk a little bit. I'm going to look at my notes here to make sure that I don't miss anything for you. Definitely the value. Here's the value in why you as a woman that is 40 plus should be on YouTube. You got to share your experience. Okay. You got to share your skills, your wisdom. Some of you are like me and we have a ton of wisdom. We don't been through some things. We don't been through some life changes. We have overcome those long, those life changes. Some of you may may be married. So I'm married, been married for 15 plus years, going on 16 years next month. So I know a thing or two about marriage, not just because of my longevity, but also the things me and my husband have been through in marriage. So I have, I have some wisdom there. I also have some wisdom in business. I have some wisdom in making money. I have some wisdom in losing money. So you got to dig into your skills, your wisdom, because that right there is really going to help you to stand out on YouTube. But not only that, that's going to help you to get to the money, honey. Okay. Because you're going to be deemed as an expert in a particular area. Now I know some people say, don't have a niche, have a niche, don't have a niche. Here's what, here's my approach to that. Okay. I believe that when you approach YouTube, that you do want to start off in a niche so that you can build a audience. It's like you want to get flat flat-footed and you want to have that longevity. You want to have the foundation of your business. 
So I know I use the word business and we're talking about YouTube, but YouTube is a business, okay? That's like the first biggest mindset shift you have to have. You got to approach YouTube with a business mindset, okay? So that means you're going to, you may need to learn some things about YouTube as you are going along on your journey. Don't try to sit and learn and then do. No, we, go, we learn as we go. I learn YouTube as I go. I am not a YouTube expert. This is probably the first, this is the first and probably the last video you're going to see the word youtube in my title because i don't teach youtube okay i'm just on here i use youtube as a way for me to teach and i use youtube as a platform to drive traffic to my business okay so you definitely want to share your expertise, share your skills, share your wisdom. Yes, start with a niche and then start to go out. Because here's the truth. People don't know you yet, okay? And because people don't know you yet, they don't care about your life. And I know that seems harsh, but they don't care about your life, okay? Unless you build your channel around your life. But my suggestion is if you really want to do this thing on YouTube and you really want to really make money way before you start to get the assets, you definitely want to have some type of niche and things that you can teach people. Okay. Now, how, having your channel also helps you to build that community as well. You get to influence others because you are 40 plus. Now, you don't, this is my first time in a video saying that on 40 plus however you will be able you have that over the younger people that are on youtube okay you have the life experience so don't shy away from that all right so let's talk about the types of youtube content that you should consider when you're posting here on youtube and if you hear some noise it's because my stepdaddy is um and i'm in my mom's office doing some work but my stepdaddy is out there mowing the lawn or something but we're gonna keep going okay now the types of youtube content you want to consider making especially for us as 40 plus women um, lifestyle blogs work advice like on career pivot some of you are in a pivot where you you are pivoting in your career um health and wellness like how do you stay fit as a 40 plus woman uh financial tips how you handle your money honey like what are some things that you have done and that's why your expertise and your wisdom is really going to get you there faster than most because you have the experience so you're not just on here talking about tactics right you're up here talking about experience so use your experience to a uh, leverage i said financial tips self-care routines like how do you take care of your skin you know my channel is not built around that however these are just some ideas especially if you're just getting started um motivational content we love a little motivational content as well but make sure when you're giving the motivational content that you're also giving people steps to take all right giving them call to actions to take on their videos too okay so you got your youtube video all your, your youtube channel all set up that's amazing you kind of know your content pillars if you just hear that word it's like the drops of content the, the drops of topics that you're going to talk about so there are certain topics you're going to talk about on your channel my channel for example the different topics that i talk about because i'm in digital publishing i use my channel for business i talk about digital products how to create digital products i talk about uh, writing and publishing books i talk about what else do I talk about? I talk about affiliate marketing. So I have different buckets and things that I talk about on my channel, which your buckets can then be your, on YouTube, where they call it your playlist, okay? So think about your buckets as your playlist, okay? So having that approach does shift in a ways so that you can get to the money, right? So we all know that you can make money with the ad revenue, you know? everybody wants to get monetized i'm on my way there i think i have 20 or something hours and then i'll be monetized you know but as i go on that journey to doing that um, i do realize for me the ad revenue is just a extra income okay i've been making money on youtube since i've been up here <laughs> I made that conscious decision. So here's some ways that I make money on YouTube, affiliate marketing. So you would look on my channel. I share 
products, um, different type of services that are coincided with my topics, okay? So you may see on my channel, I'm gonna talk about tools like Pensite. I'm an affiliate of Pensite. I'm gonna talk about tools like, I talk a lot about PLR, private lock, private label rights content. So any websites that I get PLR content from, you best your bet, I'm affiliate of that website, okay? So think about, you gotta think about this for your whole channel when it comes to affiliate marketing. So if you're gonna be like a lifestyle type of channel, or maybe like self-care, then you may want to partner with the candle company, or you may want to partner with a skincare company. You have a certain skincare routine that you have and maybe you're an affiliate of that skincare products that you use then you need to be promoting that okay you can make money that way another way you can make money too is with sponsorship so as your channel grows and you start to get the views people will actually pay you to talk about their products and services on their channel i get approached a lot from plr companies because um, they're approaching me and they're seeing that hey she has an audience she has she has um not just an audience but she has communities she has people that comment um people look at that okay it's just like advertisement right that's what sponsorship is so think about that so think about as your channel grows how you can even um, make this a service so you can partner with candle company and say hey let me promote your candle to my channel give me an affiliate link or you can pay me a hundred bucks and i will promote it on my channel okay so you can do it either or whatever works for you it, it doesn't matter here's another way that i make money is selling digital products and services i have classes like for instance i have a class that's coming up showing um, digital publishers or entrepreneurs how to create their email list okay i have it linked in the description you want to check it out but that's going to be a live class so i make money even teaching co coaching consulting um courses you can make money doing those things too. And it doesn't necessarily have to be on YouTube, okay? I don't sell products on YouTube. Again, this is the first and last video I'm gonna do on YouTube because YouTube is not like my, it's not like a topic that I talk about. Now, I do encourage my students to get on YouTube, but I'm not like studying YouTube in that way, if you know what I mean, okay? Now, when it comes to publishing books, okay, I got you. I got, I'm your girl, but when it comes to YouTube, that's not for me, okay? So you you can figure out, this is where your expertise and what you know, your knowledge comes in at, because those things is what you can use to make digital products, okay? You can use your knowledge and expertise that you already have and make sure that it connects with your channel. It all has to connect. It all has to make sense, okay? You can also do merchandise and print on demand now i know i'm a bad example of this i am let me say this although i'm i haven't hit the full monetization meaning the ad revenue i have hit the first level of monetization and that's where you get you have 500 subscribers 3,000 watch hours and you can actually set up a store for your merchandise so like t-shirts and things like that i'm sorry i'm a bad example of that i need to set mine up because i do have the capability of doing that also memberships <laughs> So I do have a channel membership that I really need to set up, but you can make money that way too. So it's not just about the ad revenue. I want you to, yeah, that's a goal because that's a goal for your girl too, but that's like an extra goal. I need to make money until I get there. So we need to make money until, all right? Here's another way that you can make money on here on YouTube, memberships, okay? if you want to have a membership you can with the first level of monetization with youtube you can take advantage of that however you can create a membership on platforms like pen site i use pen site you can create wherever you're you know link and buy a stand store you can create you a membership there but you got to make sure it's valuable and you can give exclusive content like people pay monthly memberships for things so like take a look at your own bank account all right i'm sure you're paying 
monthly for something. And I'm almost positive that there is a way where you can create a membership as a content creator or as a YouTuber. Okay. So I want to encourage you, my 40 plus sisters, my 40 plus brothers, welcome to YouTube. Thank you for being here, but I wanted to make sure I do this video with my expertise and what I do on my channel to help you to move forward. Please approach this as a business, all right? Approach this as a business from the jump, okay? That is my hugest and best piece of advice for you. When you approach this as a business, you're going to find yourself being in a better place and you're going to find yourself like, you know what? Okay. There's some other ways that I can, I can, well, it's more way, more than one way to skin a cat. And then what grandma used to say. So <laughs> there's more than one way that you can monetize on this platform, but definitely come up here to give value. Um, come up here to be you, of course, and come up here to give value. Okay. Because we're women of value. We're men of value because we 40 plus. Okay. We don't been through some stuff. So go ahead and make your content. I hope that this video helped you go ahead and like, and subscribe. If you want to get into like the digital publishing space, learn how to create your digital products and all those good things. I talk about those things here on my channel. I have a nice playlist. If you feel like we will vibe and you love my content, go ahead and subscribe, like this video and hit that notification bell. So when I upload a new video, you will be the first to know.